3, 5, 4, 1. So I was messing about, as I do sometimes, on National Library of Scotland's maps. And I came across these strange rectangular features. When you strip it back to the 1888 to 1913 map. Hmm. Giant's graves. Really? This needs further investigation. Off the giant country. Very nice so far. Giant's house. It's a mighty large fireplace. I smell the socks of an Englishman. Uh, did you hear something? Probably just the wind. Plenty of sheep round here for giants to eat. Since we can't get any scale with the draw because of the wind, let's have a look at Google and do some measurements. Here you can see over 13 metres or 43 feet long. And if we measure the width, nearly 7 metres or around 23 feet wide. So who buried them here? Jack? Well actually there are no giants buried here at all. I know, I know. They were actually for something much smaller. Rabbits. Yes, bunnies. Cottontails. Plain old rabbits. They are what's known as pillow mounds and were used to farm them. You build a mound of soil on rocky ground, put a fence around it where you can see the primitive ditch here, and stick a male and female rabbit in and let them do what rabbits do. They can't dig through the rocks below so make burrows in the mound. Obviously you need to feed them too. So what about the giant's fireplace? Well it is actually a fireplace of sorts. It's actually an old lime kiln. They were used to heat lime which was placed in the top. Using very high temperatures to produce quick lime. Quicklime is a fertiliser. It was used to help improve the land. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.